Week 18 and state of emergency has been declared in Portugal. State of emergency has been declared in Portugal. Um, we can now only go out if you're going to work to get food, medicines, non-essential services and stores are closed, pubs and restaurants can only work on a takeaway basis and my shipyard is closed as well. So that means all the wood I have to finish this boat is now in my workshop. Apart from a piece or two of spruce that I can go and get from the hardware store, that's about it. Uh, I need to do the gunnel caps, should be hardwood, obviously I can't get that at the moment. I have these leftovers from the mast which I now cut into two strips, they're about nine and a half, so by the time I sand them they'll be nine millimeters. Uh, but that's all I have and that's what I'm gonna use. If anything, I'm going to have to replace them next season. They're on the outside, so they're prob probably quite easy to plane off and put another one on top. I don't know. I have five weeks to finish this boat, or six. I don't even know how I'm going to do the inspection, or if there's going to be one, actually. Anyway, that's all I have. That's what I'm going to work with. This thing's like a sponge. Okay guys, this took all my clumps, all 30 of them, so now I don't have enough clumps for the, the other side. I will come back in three hours to recoat that cap and the gun along the other side. So that will give me probably five, six hours at least for this to get dryish, so I can remove the clumps at least. If not, I'll have to recoat again and that's gonna be a long night. Time to glue the next one. Look, that's tacky. Caps glued. It's now 11 p.m. Time for a shower and bed. Today I'm gonna start working on fitting the stern knees. I'm gonna need to trim the inholes to the same size as the spacers, and that's the marking I used. Calculate the spacer spacing. Now I need to sand that off 
and we take proper measurements. The bow knee and the stern knees are done. I'm going to quickly sand the gunnel caps before I glue the knees. Then I'm going to three coat these while those dry. I'll be back when all this is dry. All dry now. I'm going to start with the belt sander. Take the biggest lumps first, and then I'll try the power plane. If I use the plane in this direction, even here on the end grain, it should be fine.
Okay, so the battery ran out. Um, sorry about that, but all I've done um, is use the orbital sander after the belt sander. And this is the result so far. This morning I'm going to work on something else. I'm going to start with the tip for the bow. And I don't have much space left. The transom is actually against the front of the workshop. 28. So I need to make it 25. I want to make this piece the same wood as the gunnel caps. And I didn't have any that thick, so I've epoxied two bits, and that's what I'm going to use to make that tip. Now let's go inside and try to work out a nice shape for that. That's it for now. Now I need to break these edges here, they're quite sharp and there. Only very slightly but can't leave it like that. Enough sanding for today. I guess I'm going to do the mast opening now. I'll start by drilling a few holes from underneath so I know exactly where the mast partner is.
week 18 is finished and I worked 20 hours this week. But more important guys, stay safe and I'll see you next week.